Good morning. I wanted to share a booking tip with you guys for home parties. Um, I have been doing all home parties for a while now. I kind of have moved away from Facebook parties just because that's what I, you know, I like to do home parties better. So that's what I've been doing. So I switched up my home parties recently, about a couple months ago, I guess, um, back in April, I think. And they've been pretty awesome ever since then. And I figured out, um, a couple of different ways to do things to get more bookings and get more interest in leads. And I want to share my booking tip with you. Um, Hopefully you guys will have just as much success as I have. Um, my last four home parties, I have booked a minimum of two parties off of each one. Um, and I am pretty much booked for home parties for the rest of August and September. And I have um, one in October and one in November. So I haven't been this um, full with my personal business in a while. And I'm not sure if it all has to do with this new booking tip that I've been doing, but um, it's working. So I'm gonna keep doing it. Um, so it's pretty easy. I have um, a bunch of cards here. I decorate them really cute, number them one, two. I suggest to do 15, I only have 10 here. But I suggest to do 15 of them just in case you have 15 guests at a party. My average is like 7 to 10 guests, but you don't want to have, um, you don't want to not have enough for everybody. So bring 15. Um, I decorate them just like with a little bit of washi tape. Um, I've been wanting to get even cuter, make them really cute, but um, I haven't had time to. So you can decorate them however you want. Um, I write on the front, don't open me yet. Um, which creates some suspense. Um, so what I do is as I, as everybody sits down, gets ready for um, the presentation part of my party, I hand them their catalog, which inside their catalog has their host drawing brochure, their invoice, um, and a bundle sheet that I um, hand out to offer bundles to my parties. And um, after I hand that out, I walk around the room and I fan these out so that they can see all the numbers. Prettier than that. But I fan them out so they can see all the numbers. And I walk around and I go to each person and I say, okay, pick a card. Um, every card has a prize in it. So make sure you get the lucky number, whatever you know you think it is. And I just say things to kind of create the excitement and the suspense of what's inside that card. Um, and then they pick out their card and they see on the front that it says, don't open me yet. So they're wondering, they're wondering what's inside. Um, and I say, just hold on to the card. We'll talk about it later. And I don't talk about that card until towards the end of the party. Um, when I get to my portion about booking a party um, is when I talk about what's, what the card is. So I tell them, you know, I, I know you guys have been wondering what's in those cards. Um, so every single card has a prize inside and every prize is a full size product from our catalog. There are free sheet, application kit, mini heater, cuticle remover, basically something from all the categories of our catalog. Um, there's a full size prize in each card. But the catch is you cannot open your envelope to see what it is unless you book a party with me tonight. And you don't have to book a party with the specific day that you want, but you have to at least pick the month and week-ish that you want to have your party and then we can, um, you know, get a date confirmed later on. I'll text you later in the week. So um, I'm gonna be asking each and every one of you as you check out or as you leave, um, if you're going to either hand me back your envelope without opening it or if you'd like to book a party and open it and um, get that prize. So they start thinking and they're kind of getting ready. They know that I'm going to ask them the question. And <clears throat> so I let them kind of stir and think about it throughout the party. Um, and then when it's checkout time, they come to me with their catalog and their invoice and their envelope. And I say, okay, you have that envelope. Do you want to give it back to me and hand it in? Or do you want to open it and book a party? And it's something about the suspense of what's in here and knowing that it's a full-size product that they're gonna get. Um, 
you know, and it's and it's after they've tried their sample on and they're really loving Jamberry and they're really excited about it. So many people open this envelope. I have had every single party that I've had um, since April, I've had multiple people go for this envelope and I'm not sure if I would have that many if I didn't, if I wasn't doing this. So in the envelope, it's just a note card, just a, a regular blank card and inside it says, Again, these aren't very fancy. I'm gonna get something a little fancier, but it says application kit. So, you know, she opens that up and she gets the application kit. Now, I do not give them the prize at the party. They do not receive that prize until the day of their party. So, um, I have them pick a, a week or a day or whatever they can give me um, for when they wanna have the party. I write down their information in my calendar and then I write what it is that they won. So I make sure that I remember to bring that to them. And then at the party, I present that to them and I say, you know, here's your application kit that you won for booking this party in front of their friends and family. So they see that, you know, I'm following through with my promise. Um, so it's been working for me. I hope it will work for you if you want to give it a try. Um, I'd love to hear how it goes. Um, and yeah, is there anything else? I think that's it. Enjoy.